We've been talking about highlighting the importance of breast cancer awareness, education, research, mm -hmm. and support. But the best way to get results against the disease is with early detection. That means mammograms. And here in Orlando, two organizations are teaming up to give free life-saving screenings to women in need. Joining us now to talk more about Get a Mammogram, Give a Mammogram, Pam Gold, CEO of Shepherd's Hope. Thanks for coming in today. My pleasure. You have so Happy many great here. things happening with Shepherd's Hope right now. You have your gala this weekend. Yes. Tickets are still on sale. For they that. are. Uh, we're having the Famous Faces Masquerade Ball uh, around the world in 80 days. So come in your international attire. Nice. And How fun. We have tickets available on our website until tomorrow. Where's the gala? at the Royal Pacific at Universal. Oh, beautiful. Yes. So yes. let's talk about Shepherd's mm -hmm. Hope in case people don't know about the organization. You do so many wonderful things all year round. Right. We're obviously talking about October and mammograms. But what is Shepherd's Hope and how does it help people in Central Florida? Shepherd's Hope has existed for 22 years. And we're really like the urgent care for people who are un and underinsured. Um, many of you may know, you two may know, that in Central Florida, we have about 250,000 families that can't quite make the cost of living with their wages. So they are working, um, but they often make choices between household incomes and insurance or medical care. So they come to us when they are in need, and when we find issues, we have wonderful partners like Sand Lake Imaging that help us diagnose people and get them on the track to being well again. So how does it work with the Give a Mammogram, Get a Mammogram uh, program? So if you are a new patient and you need to get your mammogram, call Sand Lake Imaging before the end of this month and get your mammogram by December 31st and we receive a slot for a patient when they come in for a free mammogram. So you're and making sure that everybody has that availability and access. Absolutely, because early detection obviously is key. And one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. So taking care of ourselves, which we're not always so good at, is really important in order to continue to take care of your family and those others in your life. Let's talk about the uninsured or underinsured. You know, you said over mm -hmm. 200,000 uh, people in the area. The, the, the status, it, it, is it worsening or are there other resources that, that can help make it better? Well, we're part of a wonderful network called the Primary Care Access Network. We're more the urgent care side. So, you know, when you can't get into your doctor and you're not feeling well, you may go to one of the local care stops or a minute clinic or Centra Care. Mm -hmm. We're that, but we're also that safety net for when you are diagnosed with something and we help you case manage through that. We've created a wonderful network of um, medical providers and all of our medical providers are licensed and non-licensed people who operate the clinic, volunteer their times. So they're at work during their normal hours, they come in at night and work three to four hours to um, help this population. And I think part of it is we are successful. We have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the country, but the, the initial jobs that you get here may only be part-time or may seasonal. be frontline, mm -hmm. exactly seasonal. So you don't get insurance with an employer when that happens. And we were just looking at some video of a year previous when we did a story with Shepherd's Hope and uh, we were showing the equipment that is used at uh, Sand Lake Imaging mm -hmm. and how that is being offered to these people who are underinsured or uninsured. And why is that important to be able to diagnose maybe women with dense breast tissue or these, you know, more um, intense um, situations where they may not be able to have access to that? Well, obviously with the technology that we have these days, if we can provide that to everyone in our community, the better outcomes we have. And, and Sand Lake Imaging has some really cool, for lack of a better word, high-tech equipment that makes it possible to diagnose more accurately right on the first mammogram. So that equipment can be very life-saving because if you have to leave and you have to come back, especially if you have transportation challenges, mm -hmm this may be a one-stop um, diagnosis, and then we can get you right into a care plan quicker. And th this has been going on for a few years now, this seven. give, get one, so yeah. it's seven working. seven years. It's, it's working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of results have you seen? What kind of success stories? Well, the earlier, obviously, we can diagnose, the less 
impact there is to someone's overall health care. Um, but we've been able to get biopsies and, and stop there. So you don't have to go into radiation. You don't have to go into all the way through chemotherapy um, and radiation therapies to a good outcome. And you follow so, these patients through, right? That's all one the of way the things through. that Shepherd's Hope, I think, does mm -hmm. so well. Yes, we shepherd them through. That's yes. exactly it. Yeah. Well, this is wonderful. And so quickly, before we go, if, if people want more information on the mammogram program. So they can go to our website at shepherdshope.org and just make that appointment before the end of the month and you can get your mammogram until December 31st. Beautiful. Thank you, Pam. Thank we you. We appreciate Have your time. Have a great time at the gala this weekend. Thanks. <laughs> All right.